Hi, I'm Denton Dearborn. Uh, I've been a spindle tech here for five years and uh, I'm going to give you an overview of how to balance a spindle on this machine here and uh, go through the steps and the different processes that we do and give you a good overview. Uh, the reason for balancing these shafts like this is because they'll give you a better balance in fully assembled spindles. Um, by doing it this way, if you picture yourself on the highway, on your car, you know, with the tires vibrating at high speed, this is basically the same thing. You know, it's a higher speed spindle, we're balancing it like this. Um, it reduces our tool chatter, it'll increase your bearing life, you know. It just, the less vibration in the spindle fully assembled and running full speed, the, the better. And um, this is basically the best way to do it. And then, in the end, if you have to finish balance it, you know, off your front nut or your rear nut, we'll go from there. But this is the best way to do this style of shaft. Okay, so basically, these two points, this is your front, this is your rear. Uh, when you first start it up, this thing here, will it'll generally tell you basically your degrees and the shaft you have it marked like this you know your 0, 90, 180, 270 and back to 360 and um, you know it'll show you if your tolerance is way out it'll show you it's way out here the closer you get to this bullseye point is where you're going to be at your set tolerance it'll start out usually if it's a really high balance in grams you'll eventually get down to milligrams and then you'll be within your tolerance and you're good to go and put it together Alright, so I'm four grams out in the back. So I'm taking this set screw and um, it's about half the size. So it should bring me down to be back within tolerance again from changing it from the front. Alright, so basically here, um, it told me to take weight off at this certain point at um, 255 degrees. So I'm taking this screw out and I'm moving it 180 compensate that weight and it should bring it down. This rotor is set onto the shaft and um, you get a better balance. You might have to finish balance it when it's in assembly but it'll basically this machine will get it down as low as it can and nine times out of ten you'll just have to trim balance it just a little little bit and uh, it just gives you a better overall balance when fully assembled.